morning. Uh, I wanted to sh show you the other side of things. Um, Sue's a mess in here, but we're decorating this room at the moment. And this is the office. Uh, this is what I do every morning. I get up and um, normally I'm up a little bit more earlier than this. I normally have about quarter past five. And I go through all the comments on the YouTube account and all the other social network platforms. It's so important that you respond to people and uh, they've taken the time to um, make a comment and to participate in your channel. So it's, it's important to uh, extend that common courtesy back to them. Well, we're in the builders merchants at the moment and uh, I'm just amazed. Uh, it doesn't matter where we are, but there's loads in here, loads of staff and uh, there's not many, not much trade in here and uh, they're all walking the other way. Maybe it's me. <laughs> now we're getting the we're getting the blocks out now. We've got some blocks. We got some sand just to finish off the wall, but we're not going to do it today, simply because it's raining now. Blocks are heavy. They're dense in weight, and uh, they're just going to move around. Hey, smile. No, Joe's just saying uh, we've got the sand here. That's all the sand we need to to finish the wall off, and we got the blocks for the wall, and. Uh, we just need to tell our client that we've we've arrived, but there's no way that we can lay those blocks today because uh, we're just taking a chance. The blocks are wet. The, the blocks that we're going to lay on are wet, um, and it's going to pour down. They've got a big storm coming in, and it's not looking good up here at the moment. We're going to have apparently a month's uh, rain, downfall of rain in a day. Well, we've just been to a merchant, and it doesn't matter who they are. I'm not going to slate them off or any, in any way uh, because they, they, the lads and, and some of the lads of the yard are good, some aren't so good. And the, the fact is that I always take when I ever go into a builder's merchant, I always take full instruction, especially in new merchants. Okay, it's their domain. I show them respect. I go in. I pay for the goods. Um, it depends in, in in what way they actually do it, but I pay for the goods and. Um, I was instructed, well, I was instructed, uh, I asked where I should go and they said over on one area to, uh, to put the blocks on the back of the van and I took instructions at that point then from the guy when he was calling me back and this colleague was stood next to the van and um, as a result of it he thought he, uh, his leg was going to get damaged and he decided to call me a clown but I took instructions from his colleague that works there so he was the clown and then the yard foreman didn't really sort of appease the situation you just told everybody to shut up and I don't know do you remonstrate with them or do you just let it go or do you have a voice and opinion but the fact is I probably I will spend money again there I can go to another merchants uh, but it wasn't good it wasn't good at all how they spoke to me uh, either way even when I'm thinking about it now and uh, it wasn't it wasn't good anyway let's not get a job done let's get on with it Don't you hate it? You put those socks on, they come down. <laughs> they come down um, in your boots. Absolutely annoying, frustrating. More shoe socks than <laughs> boot socks. So anyway, I, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. So, look at it. It's coming in. There's a storm coming in. I can't remember what they said it was called, the name of the storm. Um, when, they get, when they name these storms, the reason that they name these storms is because they know that they're going to be memorable storms okay so they name them and as a result of it as i said they believe there's going to be 200 millimeters of rain that's going to come down in one day and that's a, a normal uh january amount of rain so and we haven't finished january yet we're only halfway through it so there's a lot of rain going to be coming today so there's no way i'm going to take a chance it's starting to rain now if i lay those heavy dense blocks seven newton blocks on top of this wall it's not going to be good at all clients here just have a quick word with it and then i'll see you in a minute well we've just spoken to the client now we've made her aware that we've got the blocks here we've got the sand here we've got cement here and there's no way i, I told her that i was going to take a chance that and she totally understood and the thing is what she appreciated is that whilst we were here i just didn't go we had a chat to her and explained to her what was happening and uh yeah it's just the right thing to do
Well, here's my son's car. The um, it was hailstone in here on the sleet, and uh, it doesn't look great at the moment. But it says on the weather that it's going to be uh, sunny later on. That's what it said. But at least the birds are chirping. Oh, it's cold this morning. Just uh, waiting for a lorry now and uh, just looking out and uh, it looks like it's blowing over. So we might be able to get some block work done. But I'm just amazed now, just listening to the radio um, about the, the inauguration, Joe Biden's getting in power and somebody with a, with a bit more responsibility than that nugget, that complete fruitcake, uh, Donald Trump. And uh, while all that was going on, the world's probably gonna head into a better place, you know, certainly with PPE with Joe Biden. Uh, Kylie Jenner is concerned about the water pressure in her shower and she had hundreds of thousands of views and likes. Well, we just want to get a cup of coffee because we ain't going to stop now. We're going to crack on with it and uh, we won't be stopping at all. Uh, maybe a chocolate muffin. No, I was just thinking then, um, I wonder if Joe Biden uh, has changed the mattress after Trump left the White House. Well, there we are. A stark contrast from yesterday. And uh, looks like we're gonna have some sunshine. Clouds moving, uh, which is good, because if, it, if you do have a shower, you can see the speed of the clouds that are moving across, that uh, it ain't gonna be around for long. So we're gonna get on with this block work this morning. And we're gonna wrap round over the other side there. And we're gonna get our hat on in a minute because it's, it's quite blowy and cold here. But you can see, a um, couple of questions that was asked um, about getting the slate dirty, but as you can see, it's clean. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. And black does get dirty, granted, but we're going to get on the block work and then what we intend to do is to get that sand that's down there, up here, for the next bit of the paving that we have to do over here. Sorry about the singing in the background, but this is what we've put in this morning uh, in our mix. Not that it's um, not that it's, it's freezing up here, uh, but what we don't want is um, we've been having a, a bit of slate this morning, sleet and uh, some hailstone this morning. So what we don't want is our our mortar freezing when we're doing the block work. Uh, it was different with the, when I was doing the paving, simply because I was using a different sort of mix. I was using a screed mix, and as you can see, that's gone off absolutely. <laughs> That's solid, it's like concrete, absolutely solid. Got to clean that off, we haven't cleaned that back, but that's fine. But when you're using mortar, um, it's a little bit different. Well, here we are, this is slate. This is Brazilian slate that I've been laying. We've got a four mil joint between all of it. I'm going to be using the easy grout on, on this without a shadow of a doubt, because I think it'd be absolutely perfect for it. Um, the other thing about it, it dries pretty fast. Uh, because it hasn't got a huge porosity value, so it doesn't soak up the water. Black will always show the dirt anyway, but it's a classy colour and it works. Look how beautiful this, this slate paving is. Give that, give me, Well, we're just putting the first scratch coat uh, on here, but then we'll also be <laughs> putting the, the risers on the front, so there's a bit going on here at the moment. It's all a bit dirty here at the second, uh, but that's what it is. What we do, we also will 
We'll be putting the Mapoi exterior adhesive on the brickwork there and the block work as well. So we back butter the slabs. I'm gonna, I'll trail that over in a minute when it goes off a little bit. It's a little bit runny at the moment, but there we are. We're getting on with that side now and we're getting on with this side as well. But we got another couple of coats going there. That's gonna be the, the first scratch coat, but we've got another two coats to go on there and make sure it's nice and thick and uh, it doesn't come off. And we've SBR'd the back of the wall as well. Is, I've been using this product for a long time. This is uh, the Mapai Rapid uh, Rapid Set Exterior Adhesive, and uh, it's for these risers on the front, and uh, it works really well. I've used it many, many times before, and you can use it up to uh, roughly a, like a better meter. But you need to get some specifications and some technical um, material from Mapai about that. But it does work; it's perfect. But one of the things I was going to point out was that. The American Tiling Association has actually done some research on um, on adhesives on the back of tiles and they say that obviously going one way you'll get maximum adhesion as opposed to doing this okay now how much difference that makes I'm not sure but that's the science and they demonstrate this by using a glass tile and they show how it goes down, you can see how the how the uh, the, um, the the the, ade the adhesive spreads out underneath. So you can actually see it. So there, there, there is some evidence in it. But anyway, bit of trivia there. Um, so what we what we're doing now is we're back buttering the units. But also, if you look underneath here, you can see where we we put it on here as well, and we're just putting a line through this, and we've got this on the back. So you maximise the ability for it to actually stick. If you have a look on there, got it on there, got it on the back. Um, so we'll leave that for a little while and, and just let it go off a little bit. Uh, it's, I ain't saying it's too wet, but what we've got to try and do is just let it go a little bit. And when we're ready, then we can stick it on. And those units are quite heavy. So we've got to make sure we pack them underneath. Uh, I think it's about 10 mil we have to pack them. But we'll show you that after. Well, we've got them off. We've got the rises on there. They're all lined up. Um, that wasn't exactly easy. <laughs> Even now, you've got that. Hanging out from there, not quite right. You know, just got to keep checking it. Got to make sure that your block work is actually um, dead on. Um, the block work is pretty good. Hopefully, that'll be good. Um, but what we did have, we had the footing co correct, so we had to chip a little bit away where some of the mortar come down. But underneath there, we've got a nice little joint. All the, all the way. That one needs tweaking up a little bit, which I, which I will do uh, in a moment. But yeah, we've got just to get that in. It's still coming out. So the idea is that when you bank butter uh, the, the the unit as well as the wall, you know that you're gonna it's gonna stick. I'm just tapping that in there now. We're gonna get some contact there that's so important and we've still got a the four mil gap there but that went on pretty good to be fair but you've got to make sure that when you're using this map here well there's some on there now when you're using this map exterior adhesive that you clean off as you go so important but try not to have lashings of water everywhere you just all you want to be able to do is, is get your sponge in and give it a good ring out get the water out of it and then give it a clean. Um, what I will do, and I will say, when we're here the next time, we'll make sure that um, we'll show you that, that that is actually stuck. The unit is stuck to the wall because I'm not overly confident at the moment, um, but we'll see. We've got the spacing right, and it's looking good. It's nice and clean, and uh, hopefully, 
what, you, what, what happens sometimes when you're cleaning off you think that it's moving around and, and it is moving around because you're putting pressure on it but there is contact underneath there and we'll make sure that there is and uh, just keep checking it before we finish today um, there are you will see I'm concerned I want to make sure that it's right but I will make sure that that is stuck on like those they went off absolutely perfect and we'll make sure that that's gone off absolutely perfect. Well that's it, it's the end of the day, it's a beautiful day, we have really contrasting weather up here in Ebervale, but we've got on with it and uh, we've persevered, we never come yesterday because it's absolutely pouring it down, but we've got the rest of the block work along there, don't worry about how that looks because that's all going to be rendered, all will be revealed how we're going to render that. Um, we've got a few cuts to go along on this side and um, we've kept the joints nice and clean, we've, cl we've washed the patio religiously every day, we've made sure that the patio is nice and clean. We've rendered both ends of the, the steps, both sides on the two steps. We put the first coat on. Tomorrow I'm going to be showing how we're going to be rendering that and the mix that I actually use for the rendering, which is I think is a preferred mix. We've also done the, the risers at the end of the steps. We've, we've, and we've done that and we've secured it using a map eye rapid exterior adhesive we've back buttered the unit that we're sticking on the riser and we've also put the adhesive on the wall that we're sticking to so you've got two sides that you're sticking with and that's going to ensure that it is going to adhere one to the other well that's it it's a beautiful day um one thing i've got to say and i'll be totally honest you didn't see it on camera but earlier on I didn't put my goggles on for one of those last elusive cuts that I just wanted to get finished. I did put my glasses on and I had a little bit of a fragment come up and nearly went in my eye. It's so important, whatever you're doing, if you're doing any DIY and there's a danger of anything going into your eyes, make sure that you wear those glasses. I'm always able to admit my faults and things that I fail on. You've seen it on previous videos before where I've had uh, grout that has failed on patios but you've got to make sure that you wear those goggles eye protection your eyes you've only got two of them it's so important that you keep them stay safe see you soon Well, I'm back. It's been a hard day. We'll have an enjoyable day. It's going to be even more enjoyable because I've got faggots and peas with mashed potatoes. And to finish it off, there we are. The old apple crumble. Homemade. Homemade. I hope I get the custard. Well, there you go. I'm uh, about to have my uh, faggots and peas and my apple pie. I had a hot bath. I feel good. I feel 100%. And... Um, We'll be back on to the Ebervale project tomorrow. Have a great day. What's left of it?
be safe, whatever you're doing. And don't forget, subscribe and like and uh, press that notification button if you want to. Take care. Rocco, who's your boy? Where's your tape?